go. That's a good one right there. One of the things about a bait that people just seem not to pay attention to, we talk about a lot about disturbance, you know, movement in the water, but it's also disturbance of the bottom. And if you watch a fish eat, a lot of times, I mean, they'll stir up that silt and that sort of thing. And that's one of the cool things about a bait like this. When you're dragging along the bottom, those ribs there, they don't just make water movement, but they're also moving around silt and, and changing the direction of this bait as it bangs off of those rocks and off of the bottom. And it's little things like that. I mean, people will look at a bait and they'll be like, oh, it's got little bumps on the bottom. That's a cool design feature. All of those features have a reason and there's a specific reason they put them in a bait and that reason is so that bait gets eaten. That's a good one right there. Easy, dude. <laughs> Man, small jaw are absolutely awesome. And as long as you're willing to slow down and throw them something just a little bit smaller, come the spring of the year, I mean, it's the simplest fishing advice you'll ever get, but it is also some of the most true fishing advice you'll ever get. Whew. Having a favorite lure or having a hot bait is always fun, but really you want to be the most effective angler possible. What you want to do is you want to use the right tools for the job and figuring out what tools are going to tickle these bad boys is always the quest. But early in the year, smaller baits, small profile, big thump under the water. Whew. Life is good. And really that's what life's all about, let's be honest. I mean, there's a lot of people who work in cool offices, but, but none of them can do this. Woo!